Hi and welcome, it's Coach K. What we're going to learn about today is how do we integrate Coinbase Commerce into our businesses online or even in person. Let's get started with that. But before we do, just below me right here, there's a little subscribe button. Click on that. And right below that, there's a little bit of a thumbs up. Click on those, smash those likes. Uh, and click on the bell if you want to see all the other things that are going to be coming out from this channel. All right. So, Athena Education starting up. How do we accept USD coin with Coinbase Commerce? So, recently, a couple of days back, they started saying they're going to accept uh, USDC coin, which is really big because before you could only take cryptocurrencies but now you can actually pay with a us dollar coin or a stable coin and what that means is if you have a you if you have a coinbase account you can buy with your bitcoin usdc have it and use it as a currency to pay for things to make it a little easier than trying to convert from cryptocurrencies let's show you how to do that so Many different ways that you can actually accept Bitcoin payments in minutes. You just set it up with your different uh, options here. There are others as well, but Shopify and WooCommerce are usually the biggest ones, but they have Magento and many other types of carts that you can integrate into your websites very, very easily. Now, when you sign up, you have to do the normal sign up where you put in, uh, you know, you save your your Google Authenticator, you get your seed keys, you save those very carefully. And if you don't know how to do that, there is a part on this uh, Coinbase Commerce website that will tell you what you can do and how to do all those things just by going through the FAQ questions. So if you don't know how to do that, before you get even started, watch, uh, read those FAQ questions so you don't make any mistakes, but it's really not that hard. And the integrations are not that difficult as well and there's developer tools on top of that so how to get started different ways that you can add different features to your website uh, and it does have different integrations for different types of code so we have ruby node.js python for example and you can integrate that directly into your sites that you've created but it doesn't need to be technically a site you could also use this at your business every single day i'll show you how to do that as well getting there we see that there are different currencies. You can still use Litecoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and Bitcoin. USDC coin is just the one that you know people rather feel they're paying with a US dollar. So they could go on their Coinbase account, change to USDC right before they actually pay for something, and then USDC uh, payment for whatever you so choose. So you get this here. You can check your balances, your withdrawals. All of that is really transparent. Obviously, I have just made this account for demos, so there are no withdrawals yet. Your payments you can find on the TX hash in the blockchain, meaning that if you got paid by uh, for, for something and someone says they didn't pay or they did pay, you know right away because the blockchain is immutable. And, you know, that way you're not going to have any issues with people saying uh, you, you're cheating them or anything like that. Another great part about it is our checkouts. So we can make as many of these very easily by just clicking on accept payments. So even if you have just a normal business, it's very easy to do. You click on it, you say, okay, you wanna take a donation or a sell a product. You make a product name. So let's say I am at a business and I have chicken and rice. So this is, um, you know, uh, Bangkok chicken and rice stand could be literally anywhere uh, and let's say it's a uh, 50 cents us dollar to get it and i'm just going to upload a picture of just athena logo here all right now i'm going to click next you have a choice to act like get information from them if you're running a chicken stand you probably don't really care about their full name and email address but if you're running a, a website where you want to get that data you could um and also think about your clientele maybe they want to keep their privacy and not give you any information so you have both options i'm going to choose don't collect information and i'm going to click um, click on done once that's done you'll have an embed code for your website uh, and you also have a link which is really easy you can click on the link right there and it's as simple as doing this you just someone has to paste the link onto their phone and it will pop up on their phone as a payment option so chicken and rice at the bangkok chicken and rice stand i'm going to use a us dollar it then gives me the uh coin address or we can just literally on our phone you know take out our phone and scan just like this with our coinbase app scan it and boop and then pay directly from our phone 
The best part about it is this has zero transaction fees at all. Like Coinbase isn't charge a fee. The only fees you pay are what the miners have to, uh, or the rewards that miners get for confirming the transaction, which is very, very cheap. It will not be the five, six, seven, eight percent you usually pay normally. So this is great for the consumer and also great for the business to save money. And as we know, if we save money, that can actually reduce some costs and Obviously, that's the whole point of doing business is to make some money. Now, I'm just going to show you another example. So let's say I'm selling the Athena trading platform, which is my platform. I can click on this. And again, I can copy the link uh, and I can put this on my website very easily. So people just click it as a button. Then I'd say, OK, this say I want their email. So I would have like ko at gmail.com. That person would then give me their email address. And then I would say, OK, I'm going to pay with a USDC, Litecoin, whatever. I would click on here and pay and you have an hour to pay that payment or I would scan and pay directly. And that's pretty much all you have to do. You can use the trust wallet and do that. Uh, it's really not hard and very easy to use. And then if you're a developer, easy to implement on different websites. And even if you're not a developer, it's easy to implement, which is another really cool part. So if you go to quick start, you can actually find out how to do this quite easily without having to really worry about being a superb developer and this is the great part about it is it isn't actually hard to get started so you know you're not a developer no problem click on shopify and it literally tells you exactly step by step what to do for shopify as an example great stuff i uh, i really am impressed by it and i'm going to be using it on my own website Something that you guys can think about as well. If you didn't like cryptocurrencies because of the volatility, well, now you don't have to worry because it is technically a stable coin. And if there is fluctuation in price, it's usually like one cent. So that's a lot better than, you know, uh, a volatile asset like, you know, Litecoin or Bitcoin or Ethereum, even though I love them and they could go up too. So there's benefits and there's there's pluses and minuses to everything. But the average user, if they, they're worried about that, no problem, use USDC coin. It's really easy to use a really great way to integrate a new payment option and not very limiting for a business. That's how you use Coinbase Commerce, guys. It's Coach K sign out. If you like the video and it's helpful, do click right here on that subscribe button. I'd like to see you on other ones. Click the bell and smash up some likes. Have yourselves a great day, everybody. Coach K signing out.